Hi everybody, this is the Golden Flower, Sifu Fio. <clears throat> I just wanted to demonstrate how the traditional with the non-traditional, the Eastern with the Western, can mix so well, <clears throat> but it's also a matter of taste and preference. So I recently I am I'm a new calligraphy student and I liked the way they made their brushes. And this is very inexpensive. I I got this at Loose Lands Sub at the downtown Portland Chinese Garden. <clears throat> you grind your own ink. This is a slate. Add a drop of water and grind your ink. And then you take um, one of your brushes and traditional hold it like that. This brush is made, uh, I'm sorry, the shaft is made out of bamboo and the tips of the brush are made out of wolf or goat hair. They used to use rat and rabbit but they stopped. So, And they can also be made out of pencil, jade, um, the shafts, and I liked it so much that um, I thought, well, why, why can't I make... Okay, and this is the funny thing. I didn't buy... This was a Crayola kit, watercolors. Um, these are my Crayola <laughs> brushes. And I can hold it like that or hold it like this. You know, I put water. I mix that. I do mixed media. I have pencils, colored pencils, um, claws markers. Claws is a company I do consulting for. Uh, basically, it's a very safe ink and you can do a lot with it. It's non toxic. But I also have a toxic one. This, you can paint on anything, metal, and I'll mix that together. So. And then I always complete it with a seal. This is a call our school of golden flower school of uh, cultivation, which includes kung fu, among other things. It's a, f a rose, my favorite flower. And I emboss it with my seal. My last name is Fiore. That means flower in Italian. So I'm a teacher a flower. How cute, right? <laughs> this was a phenomenal gift from my stepdaughter. It's one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. And it's got a semi-precious stone in the middle and engraved leather. And the paper is just amazing. So I'm going to practice, and not in this book, but when I come up with a good idea. That's where it's going to go. Thank you, Colleen. I really love you. But you came over on my birthday with uh, my grandson. That was so nice. <laughs> okay, animal activists don't freak out. But that's not a wolf. That's a coyote. Um, but, you know, the fur is kind of the same as a wolf's. <laughs> uh, my spirit animal is a coyote. The trickster. But I'm turning more into an eagle, my wife and her friend. Anyway, these are just some of the things I um, use that inspire me. Um, and they are self-explanatory. Buddha palm, Christ consciousness, <laughs> the crystal clock. Time ticking away. I like these Chinese practice balls. Phoenix Chasing Dragon. <clears throat> There's a reason for that. I don't get into in this video. Anyway, I'm out of I'm out of time. That's all I wanted to show everybody. And also that anybody can do this. I mean, I didn't go to art school, obviously. <laughs> some people aren't going to like this, some people will. And you know, the people that don't like it, that's fine. That's up to you. I, I don't care. I'm not doing this for anybody. But the people who this belongs to. I call these soul paintings, and this is how I see people and feel people. So the painting, art, artwork, usually will tell me who it belongs to, and then I'll give it to them as a gift.
sometimes if I can afford a frame, I'll get a frame. Well, this is the golden flower, Sifu Fio, <laughs> Antonio Fiore, saying good, good night, have sweet dreams, and don't forget, <laughs> you too are a golden flower of beauty to God. Love everybody. Bye-bye.